this lesson, we're going to do a crucifix from the Kimura Trap Concepts. The first concept I'm going to show you is simple and easy, okay? Let's get through the leg width pass first. Get there. It's gonna turn this way. Immediately, I get to the Kimura. It's going to be a point that, Cobrinha, but the person, it's getting the arm too tight on the, on the single leg. It's hard for me to get the Kimura. You're right. So what we do, we can always sprawl a little bit as well, the way I'm doing so. See, I'm sprawling the leg, and then when Tino, he needs to pull my leg back. When he, I'm gonna sprawl, when he pulls, that's when he makes space and I'll be able to get this arm, right? My right arm first, yeah? If you see that some people go straight to this one, I like to go straight first. Fish Tino's arm first, then grab the rest, then I'll sit back the way I'm doing so. When I sit back over here, if you break the grip the way I'm doing so, and try to fish the arm, for your arm Tino free, there it is. That's what's going to happen. So when you get to this point here, so my goal is pull my partner's arm just a bit. Now I can get my back of my thigh, the back of my thigh right on Tino's biceps. There. Now I can lock it up on the finger floor, break the grip. If Tino tries to release his arm over here, it's going to be hard for him to do it, yeah? And here I always pay close attention because we are here and he tries to release. That is the wrist lock right there too. See over here we can play with the wrist lock here. There. And sometimes here you feel the lock right there with the pressure. And let's see here, there's a tap right there as well. Always playing around because here he's not going anywhere from this position, okay? So, but then we want to do the crucifix, yeah? So if you're looking for the crucifix, now we're going back again to the grips and we're going to do exactly the same as we did right in the previous lesson. But pay close attention over here. My right leg is going to pin it in this arm down. And I'm going this way over the top. Pay close attention to Tino's head. It's on top of my hips, okay? So right on my belly here. If Tino's head is lower, he'll be able to skip that way, okay? So if his head is on top of my, my belly or my hips, it's hard for him to skip. And I'm turning on the side, okay? If you notice that, I'm on the side of my hip, okay? All right, once you get this point, I step the leg over. As I step the leg over, I'm going to come up with my right shoulder, okay, on the other side. I come up this way, but look at his bottom, I mean, look at his uh, left arm right there. My right leg is still pinning his arm. Now, as soon as I do this, most likely, he's gonna try to grab my leg there. That's when I scoop my right knee underneath of Tino's arm. Once I get to this point over here, there it is. Now, my goal is to make sure that, look what I'm doing with my left arm. Why am I doing this? Is to find Tino's joint. It's the joint of his elbow. That's what I'm trying to find here, okay? So once again, I'm trying to find his joint of Tino's elbow there. That is. My thigh is going to be right on Tino's elbow. Now I'm going to pinch my knees together, lift my hips up. There is a tap right there. In this case over here, if Tino doesn't want to tap, what Tino is going to do is going to turn his wrist. And I'm going to turn this way here. Turn this way, Tino, for a second, please. Turn, 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 turn. All right, so when Tino turns this way here, one thing here, look at the side here. You see people doing this, grabbing the wrist, yeah? If I grab Tino's wrist, the way I'm doing so, he's going to strengthen his arm, okay? The way I like to do is, even though Tino's making a fist, my left hand is gonna help me to open up just a bit, there. Now I grab on the palm of Tino's hand. If you get someone really strong, they, even though they will be able to straight their arm, go for it, Tino, what I do, I reinforce with this guy here. I push back, go ahead, Tino. One time, two, three. Now go ahead again, Tino. You won't be able to do it. And we always can thread the person with the wrist lock on the side, okay? All right, so with that being said, pay attention right here on the grip. 
it's tight over here. I keep his arm shaped as a V. Now I'm going to turn the other side. You can see that. When he turns his arm on the way, I don't have the, the leverage to put the pressure on the crucifix right there, yeah? Okay. So I'm going to grab his wrist and I'm going to lift my hips up. If you notice that, I'm using my toes on the mat and Tino will tap right there. I'm lifting my hips up, pulling Tino's arm down. Once I do that, Tino, I'm gonna turn this way. Tino is going to bridge to take the pressure off his arm, okay? When he does that, what I'll do, I turn a little bit on the side as well, the way I'm doing so, bring my knees towards my chest, and the reason why I'm doing this, because then I can bring Tino's neck as close as possible to my arm. If I stay over there, try to attack the neck, it's gonna be bad for me to do it, yeah? So why? Because I can't get my arm around Tino's neck. So as I bring my knees towards my chest, now it's going to be easier for me to attack Tino's neck. When I grab behind Tino's shoulder, I'm going to bring my left elbow to Tino's left shoulder, right there. And that is a temp right there with the one arm choke. And always I can go back. If it doesn't work, I always go back to the Kimura trap. I'm going to get to the leg width pass. Tino's going to grab one of my legs. As I get to the Kimura, I'm going to fall back, okay? As I fall back, I'm going to lock it up on the King of Four. I'm going to break Tino's grips. And if you notice that, I'm going to turn aside. As I break Tino's grips, see from this angle, I'm trying to keep Tino's arm in between my legs. Okay, Tino's going to grab again. Grab again, Tino, please. So what we'll do here, I stay there, Tino. I'm trying to break the grip, and I lock. Look at the way I'm going to lock. There. There it is. Okay, so one more time. It was shallow, and I go all the way, and now I break Tino's script. That it is. Now, free the arm, Tino. It's hard for him to free that arm, okay? So if it's hard for him to free the arm, now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to pin his arm down with my right leg. Now I need to trick Tino. How I'm going to trick him? I'm going to step my left leg over. And as I do this, I'm going to come up on my side, on my elbow, here on the other side. As I come up a little bit, I mean, not the, uh, excuse me, not the elbow, it's on my right shoulder, okay? So I'm gonna stay at this angle, and then I can turn around and show you the other, the other side as well. So I'm going here, look at this. Now I come up a little bit just to the side. Now I can free my right leg. Simultaneously, I'm going to scoop under. You see for this angle? Yeah. As I do this, now I have the Crucifix. Once I have the crucifix, I'm going to lift the hip up. That is, that is a tap right there. Now, T is going to turn his wrist. That is. Now, if you notice that, if I lift my hips over here with this angle, I'm going to turn this angle here, right there. If I lift right here, there is no tap. But pay close attention to his arm over here, on his uh, right arm. I'm going to open and grab the palm of his hand. I'm not grabbing the wrist. If I grab the wrist, you will straight the arm, you'll be able to break the grip. I grab on the palm of his hand. Go ahead, Tino. No, you won't be able to do it. Now, this arm is going to be free. I'm going to grab Tino's wrist. The way I'm doing so, I'm going to bring my heels towards my pelvis, lift my hips, and pull his arm down. Tino's going to tap on the Americana arm lock from this angle as well. When he taps right there, all right? Tino, he doesn't want to tap. He's going to bridge. When he bridges, I turn Tino just a little bit to the side. When I turn him to the side, if you notice that, he's going to expose his neck. When he exposes his neck, I'm going to attack right there with one arm choke. That is. I get right there. Now I'm going to bring my elbow, left elbow, to Tino's left shoulder. That is a tap right there with the one arm choke as well. See, we have the arsenal from this position, okay? So one more time here, quick. So we got to... Tino goes back again under Tino, got it back under my leg, he grabs, he locks his grips, and from this angle over here, if you notice that, if I break the grip from this angle, Tino will be able to free the arm, free the arm Tino. Okay, go back again please. So when he grabs there, I pull his arm to me, and get the back of my hamstring right on Tino's biceps. There, now I can lock the finger floor. When I break the grip, Tino's grips, now release your arm Tino, he won't be able to do it. That's when it's time for me to turn the side. Look how I'm turning already, yeah? And I'm turning, I'm coming up with my right elbow, excuse me, my right shoulder, okay? 
while I come up on my shoulder, turn on the side, I step the leg over the way I'm doing so. As I step the leg over, immediately I'm going to scoop my right knee underneath of Tino's arm, simultaneously. Okay, we're time there, Tino. I was here, so I go there, there, and there. There it is. Okay, so now I can go again. I play with the cross fix. Tino is going to turn. I'm gonna turn this angle as well. We're tiny here. So now I grab, I'm gonna turn this way, then you can see it. The way I'm going to grab Tino's palm of his hand. I open and grab. Can you see from there? Yeah? So I grab, I keep pulling towards me, and don't get me wrong, here in this position, we have the wrist lock as well. Yeah? So I always can play around. Just be careful to not hurt your partner. And it is. Now here, be careful as well to not hurt your partner. Here I'm going to lift my hips up and pull Tino's arm down. American arm lock. Tino doesn't want to tap, he breathes. When he breathes, I help him. Look the way I turn to the side. When I turn to the side, now my arm is going around Tino's neck. And if you notice from this angle, I'm bringing my knees towards my chest, yeah? And why I'm doing this? Because I can bring Tino's head towards my left arm, the one I'm going to attack him, that it is. Now I can attack the neck, that is. Now you don't have to let it go, this guy here, don't let it go. Now I'm grabbing the back of Tino's shoulder, right shoulder, and I'm going to bring my elbow to Tino's left shoulder, slow. That is a tap right there with the one arm choke. And always we can go back to that position we started, which is Chris Fitz from the Kimberly Tribe. All right, guys, if you like the content we're putting on our YouTube channel, like it, subscribe. And if you want to take your game to the next level and learn more details, go to our openingonline.com and we're going to level your game up. Am I right, Tino? That's correct.